Hey everyone, welcome to part three of this Godot farming tutorial series where we are building a farming game using Godot engine. So last time we ended off with creating our tile set and in this tutorial we'll be looking at creating a map using our two tile sets we created within Godot engine using auto tiling. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, please do so now and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of these tutorials going forward. So to basically get this into Godot, you're going to have to select your tile set uh, like this. And then what you'll have to do is just export the image. So to do that, you'll just go ahead and click export image. And then you'll do the exact same thing with this tile set as well and then you can bring it into Godot engine. So I'm going to pause the video so that I can do that and then when we come back I'll show you how to bring your tile set into your Godot project. So we're back in Godot engine now and what I did is I just saved our two tile sets into our root directory of our game project folder and I created a project called Godot Farming Game and basically just created a node 2D. So what we'll do now is we'll go and add our tile map. So to do that you'll right click and add a child node and search for tile map. And once you've got tile map we want to go ahead and create a tile set. So to create a tile set you'll see when you've got tile map selected over here on the right you'll see tile set as an option and we can say a new tile set. And what we want to do is we want to click on the tile set like that and go ahead and add a tile set image. So I'll start off with this sand PNG and then we want to go ahead and create a new auto tile. So now you'll see that this uh, sizing isn't correct. We want to uh, just make this smaller. So for that we can uh, just adjust some options. So one of which is we need to make sure that the sub tile size is 16 by 16 and 16 by 16 step. And then we need to change our auto tile bit mask to three by three minimal. And let me show you what the difference is between these different settings. So if we had to go and draw on this tile, you'll see there's the small little blocks. And I'm just going to remove them all by right clicking. If we change this to two by two, you'll see that this is a much bigger selection block. So you want to go for three by three minimal so that you can more accurately select your regions. So what I'm gonna do, just get rid of all of this for now. And then we're going to go back to region over here and we'll select all of these tiles like this. And then we'll go over to bit mask. Make sure we on three by three minimal and then we'll start to draw in all the areas which don't have borders. So to do that, we'll just uh, go ahead and just draw in over here, just like this very quickly and over here and everything that doesn't have borders over here as well. So right click to undo or to remove the bit mask from a particular block and uh, just fill them all in. So the hot and fast rule here is to just fill in everything that does not contain borders and then you should be fine to have your auto tile working. So we'll just carry on, just finish this up and I'm going to deselect that portion and we'll just need to check this because it does look like it is a bit strange. So we'll check it when we auto tile and start drawing our uh, tiles. So i just go ahead and fill this all in. And I'm going to fill that all in. We'll just uh, correct that if that is a problem. I think that might be a problem as well, but let's have a look. So let's run, just finish uh, filling this in. And you need to fill in these spaces as well. And that's more or less what we need for our auto tiling. So now we can test this. So to test this, we can uh, basically click on tile map. And you'll see you've got this little box here now. Now you'll see that your tiles don't fit because the tile map is expecting a different size. So to change that, we'll go over to cell over here and we'll change this to 16 by 16. And now we can start painting 
our tiles. So you'll see that it is auto tiling correctly, so that's pretty good. So we'll just uh, fill in some sand over here and then we'll go ahead and create another uh, tile set uh, from our ground and then we'll start painting just something to start with for our game within Godot. So I'm doing this twice because I want you to fully understand auto tiling and how the process is to actually create these auto tile sets so that you can paint your uh, tile maps uh, quite easily like this. So here's what we'll do, we'll create the next tile set. So again over here we'll just go ahead and basically add another tile set and we'll take the ground one. And again, we'll just select our region and we'll first click new auto tile and we'll select our region like that. And then basically we'll go over to Bitmask and we'll make sure that we are on three by three minimal and just start drawing in again. Fill this all in. And uh, just make sure that you don't fill in any of the borders. So like here, I think I don't need the border, but let's uh, fill it in anyway, just to see, because my uh, drawing of my tile set wasn't that great, it does have those defects, and that's fine, it adds to the effect of the game, but um, you just want to make sure you don't get any weird borders with your auto tiling. So I'll just fill this in. And there are a few spots here which we need to not fill in, so we'll just check those. So like over here, I don't want to fill those in because it's got that little island in the middle. And then over here, we want to just fill in the center portion. We can uh, obviously just adjust this as needed if we need to do that. Now what we can do is we can just go ahead and try this to see how it works out. So we'll go over to tile map again. And then we can just put it in our ground and it seems to work for the most part. There is some issues here. So let's just go back to our auto tile again. So back here, just look at what we did. So we go back to auto tile and we make sure we've got everything selected. And we'll go over to Bitmask. Okay, and if you click there, you'll see what's going on. I'm just going to remove these because those don't look right to me. And then let's see, where else did we overlap? So we didn't overlap there or there. I think it was here that we didn't overlap. Uh, no, might be that little border there. Might be this little border here. Let's see, are there any other borders that uh, could create issues? No, it doesn't look that way. Let's uh, try again. So if we start fresh, and we start auto tiling, you'll see that it auto tiles quite well. Uh, these are obviously imperfections uh, in how I drew things. That's uh, causing some of these anomalies. But if we went and drew over here now to just create those farmlands, we'll uh, be able to have a farmland in the middle of this sand pit. So now what we'll do the rest of this tutorial is just draw out something a little bit more reasonable which we can use for our game. So I'm just going to continue to add some more of this uh, sand and just fill it out. So I'll do uh, something maybe up until here so it's quite a reasonable area and then we'll go over with our uh, farmland uh, ground tile to just extend this little farm. So I'm going to use the middle mouse button to just go over here. And I think we'll just um, get rid of this one over here. So just right click. And I'm just going to fill it in so that it's uh, just a rectangle. And uh, we we'll go over like this. I'll just re erase some of them and just fill it out like that. And then I'm going to get rid of this uh, ground over here because we don't want to use it. And then we can actually just go fill in ground again. And we'll just see what that looks like. Okay, so that was a broken auto tile, but this is actually not a bad effect if you think about it, um, because it has these lines that's actually quite nice for crops. 
So I'm going to leave it like that. That's uh, pretty good. And let's do another bit of a block here. Like that. And that can be our crops for our game. So I'm just going to save this and I'm going to just call this main. And let's run it just to see what it looks like. And we select our main scene. So you see you've got your crops and you've got some ground in your game. So in the next tutorial we'll start working on getting some movement going so that we can actually navigate over this uh, ground and then from there we'll start building out some simple objects which we can start placing on the ground etc and then hopefully this game will start taking some shape. So guys, I hope this has been useful. If it has been, please like below. It does help the channel. And also, if you can subscribe, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And just want to say thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.